What up, fam? This your boy, Stu, the RC guy, and we're down in the dungeon, as we do. We are here with a product. We are here with ProLine's Performance Off-Road Crawler and Desert Truck Light Bar. So, super cool little light bar. I'm going to kind of tell you guys about it. So there's two ways that it comes. It either comes in the way that you can do all six lights or you can do only four lights. We are choosing to only do four. We are putting it on Project Craigslist, a.k.a. Mad Max. So I'm going to go ahead and bring the camera in, show you guys the parts and how to put it together. All right. So like I said, they give you the option to do six or to do four. We've opted to do four because it's going on the other side. They give you all the hardware you need, the actual buckets, um, rubber grommets if you need to do a little cushioning and everything you need. So I went ahead and pre-assembled some of this. So what you want to do though is you want to get some ProLine super glue. You want to take the plastic holder for the lens because it has a prong. You want to go ahead and place your plastic glass in there. Line it up the way that you want whether you want the ProLine to be perfectly straight and centered. But you just want to get that pressed down in there as I fidget with this one a little bit. So once you get it all put in there like that, like I said, you want a little bit of super glue and you want to put a little super glue on the prongs and just a little bit because if you put a ton you can actually get hazing on the clear glass and that's what you want to avoid. So we're just going to put a little dab on each one and this is going to make it to where that these sit in nice and securely. So once you get everything lined up, go ahead and push it in snap it all together real nice because it does have a little bit of a way to kind of hold itself together but this gives you a little extra security that these lenses aren't going to pop out and go anywhere so simple as that you just kind of push it in like that the glass on this one has already been pushed in but we'll go ahead and put a little bit of dab of super glue on each little end here and then go ahead and take the bucket because there are holes that everything lines up and you just once again, snap it all together, nice and snug and securely. So everything is nice and placed together like so. So once everything's put together, this is when you decide whether you're going to put lights in there like we did here or if you're just going to put it together for display. You can do it to just look cool. So they come with the part that holds the light in, but it is solid. So you have to cut a groove in here for your light, whether you use a Dremel or use some kind of a cutting tool. So on the backs of these ones, they've already been, I've already done this, but this is the pre one that I've done. As you can see, as we focus in there, that it's actually got the cut and groove in there and they give you the small bolts to hold this whole thing together. So what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and take one of the lights. As you can see there is two holes there and there's a prong and a hole to line all of it up like so. Going to move the super glue to the side and we're going to go ahead and we're going to bolt this all together. Two point hex driver is what you're gonna need. You just want it snug. You don't want to get too crazy in there because you could easily uh, strip it out. So. There we go, we have that installed. And then I'd already installed, they have these arms that they give you so you can face this whichever way you want. Um, I had already installed them, it's just two simple screws that hold them on, which is pretty simple. So like I said, we're a little ahead of the game, we've kind of got everything pre-assembled to give you guys the main idea. So now we're gonna go ahead and install the light. You just press the light in the back. This is where you'll take the one that you've cut, align your wires up. Line your bolts up, and then you'll screw that together. So 
So this is very nicely put together um, so far. I really like it. I've seen a few people running it and it's it's very bright depending on the light kit. It does not come with an LED kit. I actually made this LED kit myself. You can buy them at your local hobby shop. But this does not come with the LED kit just in case you want to go with four or six. You have your options. So now we've got it all bolted together. So like I said, all the hardware they give you. I've got two extra ones that we're going to mount somewhere else um, just for look cools. I'm not actually going to put lights in these guys. So that's why I didn't cut the backs of these out. So we'll put those together. So now we're going to go ahead and install the actual light bar itself. So they give you these. Uh, you can either use them as spacers if you need more height. Or you can use it as a more clamping surface area so you have more uh, bite surface so we're gonna go ahead and grab the screws out we need so we've got those all ready I'm gonna kind of move all the rest of the hardware aside and put our super glue away Proline makes awesome super glue so we're gonna go ahead and take the body I've already pre-drilled and mounted where the holes go, but if you ever have an issue where you're trying to figure this out, if you take a piece of paper and you put it over this, you can kind of fill where the indentations is and pop the holes in there so you know exactly if the body is not clear. Luckily, the body is already clear, and we're not actually going to use these because of the way we're going to mount this, but if you were going to need more surface, you can use these, but we're not going to. So we're going to go ahead and uh, put this under the bottom side push our screws through once again grab our 2.0 over here line that up and then I always like to just start it just a little bit and get everything lined up and then fully button everything up because if you have everything super tight right out the gate if you need to shift anything a little bit it's harder to do so i'm gonna go ahead and get this installed and uh we'll come back in just a moment all right so there you have it now you got all kinds of light to do some zombie killing in apocalypse style or mad max or whatever you're doing just a cool little light bar um like i said you can do the six mount where it's huge so you can light all kinds of stuff up you can use the extra ones to put other places or make it look like dummies Pro line definitely took this light bar over the top. Definitely excited to use it. Cannot wait to do some night running. Next video will be some run of this vehicle. So hope you guys enjoyed. As always, guys, please hit the like and subscribe button. Thank you for tuning in. Check me out at Sid the RC Guy at Facebook, YouTube, Instagram, Twitter, and everywhere else in between. As always, guys, keep your lamp with charge. We'll see you soon.